Minister, the Ballymun Shopping Centre was, when it was built, was the social and economic heart of Ballymun. In more recent years, its derelict, vacant units and outward appearance disheartened locals and was an unwelcome sight for visitors to Ballymun and to those who drove through Ballymun. Ballymun Shopping Centre, left as it was, became a stark reminder how it was the biggest failure of the costly regeneration project, which cost over a billion euro. The community in Ballymun deserved better. The derelict site doesn't reflect the spirit of the closely knit community of Ballymun. The regeneration project was supposed to be about improving people's lives, improving their environment, as well as providing proper housing. It was also about enhancing the quality of life of people and their environs. The redevelopment of the shopping centre was central to the 1997 Ballymun Regeneration Plan. Treasury Holdings presented a plan for the shopping centre. The new complex, which was to be the main shopping facility for the suburbs, 18,000 residents, was due to be built in 2005. In 2009, Treasury secured planning permission for Spring Cross, which was the old shopping centre site. The plans were to deliver an 800 million development. This development was to include an 11 screen cinema, a bowling alley, public library, creche, restaurants, public houses, as well as more than 70 shops and offices and apartments. Construction was to begin in 2010. However, due to the economic crisis and the economic crash, the town centre lands became part of NAMA's portfolio of loans before any development began. Many retailers in the centre closed in 2014 and the shopping centre suffered a major blow when it lost Tesco, its most important tenant. Dublin City Council, who are now the major stakeholder, has at last begun the process of demolishing the 50-year-old shopping centre. And we are now in a position, if it is handled correctly, to revitalise the centre of Ballymun and make it once more the heartbeat of the community. The new development could once again become a central hub linking the communities of Ballymun. Minister, we in Sinn Féin will not support any development on this site that does not have at its core the idea and philosophy that this site is crucial to making this area once again the heart of the community of Ballymun. Dublin City Council should deliver on the promises and aspirations of the regeneration project. And central to that is making this site once more the centre of a vibrant and growing community.